Fresh off of another loss with word of the day. Oh so. yeah, but we'll we're shake trying that to off. set a record, Jeff. We're gonna uh, of what futility <laughs> losing of losing. Is that what we're yes. trying to do? Okay. Yes. Well, then in that case, I guess I feel pretty good See? because we're uh, winning I was, now. Winner now. I was See? Feeling, winner uh, at losing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I tell you, I love when the intern talks smack. I, that just that just warms my heart. It really warms does. the heart, doesn't it? All right. Well, moving on here. Happier times here. Um, but no. Live music, concerts, always fun. Woo! And coming up Wednesday night, Team Luke Hope for Minds concert. Pat Green's going to be there. Yeah. And Kim Hodges, uh, our uh, friend Kim, who we haven't seen in a while, joining us here this morning. Kim, how are you? Doing great. Thank you. Well, thanks for being here this morning. And you're the, uh, I guess, what's your official title with Team Luke? Director of Events. Nice. Director of Events. And, and tell good. your husband, Very David, good. I said hi. Hopefully he's listening right now. I don't know if he is or not. Oh, he's busy working. He needs to. All right. Well, if he if he is a a, a great husband, that's he's right. He's right. right. <laughs> he's been amazing through all of this. Yeah. Long hours of work for this event. You were very nice. I wish I got that kind of uplifting talk about my performance on Word of the Day. Actually, so uh, you know, it, no, that's okay. Uh, but no, coming up Wednesday night. Uh, yeah, Team Luke Hope for Minds concert, big fundraiser, and uh, tell everybody you know what's what's happening that night and how to get tickets. It's going to be an amazing night. Um, of course, we do have Andy Roddick, former number one tennis player in the world, speaking at the event. We'll have dinner, silent and live auction, and then we've got Pat Green, Corey Morrow, and then the Hub City Drifters are opening for them. Nice. The floor seats are taken. They okay. are full. We sold out super quick on those, which was absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but now we have general admission tickets that um, are for the concert only. And those are only thirty three dollars. Okay. So wow. that's an amazing price for three mm -hmm. phenomenal bands. Yeah. And then of course, you know, this uh, obviously is a it's a fun night for everybody to go out and enjoy live music and all, but it's a big fundraiser too for Team Luke, right? Yes, it is. What to, let for anybody who's not familiar, and I would imagine most people have been in Lubbock for a while, probably know a little bit about Team Luke, but for anybody who, you know, not 100%, maybe they just moved here, they don't even know. But just tell us a little bit of what, about what uh, the Team Luke does. Team Luke Hope for Minds started many years ago with Hope for Minds in Austin, Texas. And they service just the state of Texas. And then when Tim Siegel's son, Luke, had a golf cart accident, um, he formed Team Luke. And so Hope for Minds reached out to Tim, and they joined together and decided to do Team Luke Hope for Minds to where they could reach more than just Lubbock mm -hmm. and Texas. So now we are nationwide. We've helped families in 47 different states. Wow. And what we do is we provide support, education, financial assistance for children with brain injuries and give families hope. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's awesome. That's uh, and like I said, I know if you've been in Lubbock for any any time here, you've probably you know heard a lot uh, about Team Luke. And I, I went to that concert last year that's the speaker last year and, and man what a what a great i mean just the stories and everything of how that organization's really just helping out you know kids and families in general so we are we currently have 60 families on our wait list um up until last year we never had a wait list so we are growing and expanding um for the awareness we are the largest nonprofit that does what we do for children with brain injury, um, and so we need we need those funds coming in so we can knock those kiddos off mm -hmm. our wait yeah. list. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. So Tim, um, when this happened, he was a tennis coach. He was the tennis coach for Texas Tech. Okay, that's yes. what I thought. And so he had actually retired from that about a month or two before Luke's accident to to spend okay. more time with the kids. Oh, I just think that's awesome that Andy Roddick is coming in. So that's that tennis connection yes. there. I yes. think that's pretty cool. He's a great tennis player. I remember watching he, him. He's phenomenal. We're so excited to have him. That's so cool. if Tim was going to play against Andy, who wins? <laughs> oh, well, that's a hard one. I've, I've heard Tim's that's pretty, pretty good, good yeah. but okay, I right. think Andy will probably knock him, knock him out of the park. Can Tim beat mud flap in tennis? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I could probably beat Thanks Tim. Thanks for your concert. I could probably okay. beat mud flap yeah. in tennis, and I'm a can, golfer. Can, can Tim beat me in word of the day? Oh, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to ask probably. him. I know he couldn't beat Jaleesa. Okay, that's true, yeah. <laughs> but he could probably beat you. It's okay. not, it's, it's not that you. difficult. Oh, my gosh, Jaleesa. Oh, my gosh. Uh, boy, does the trash talk you never stop. So what uh, – What? I see you brought uh, 
I brought y'all some donuts. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, Yay. thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. yeah. Those I, are... I got a special box just for mud flap. I got one. Wow. Well, yeah, Colleen and I okay. got d- delicious donuts. And okay. man, these are, thank you so much, Kim. What's these in, are awesome. Is this, I, I've known you for a while. So is there, this, this is, this going to be something this good. Could it's be, your favorite. Is it's it? your favorite. Yes. If, uh-oh. Open it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I tell you what. Broccoli gives me gas. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. Anything green gives me gas. Thanks Plus for sharing. Kids. Yeah. Oh, and what else is there? Wild sardines. Hmm. Mm, yummy. You're with you, you may not open those inside the studio. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. It, I'm it, sorry. It says virgin olive oil. I am definitely not a virgin, so we know that. <laughs> I have a lot of kids. <laughs> you know, I thought that you didn't yeah. need the donuts since y'all are doing yeah. this whole weight loss Thank challenge. Thank you. See, yeah. And well, you, you know were, what? And, and you were in the running, right? Yes. So, so, so you're trying to sabotage uh, me and Colleen? Is that what you're saying with the donuts? Yeah, you know, okay, I got to okay. I gotta support my longtime friend over here. Okay. Yes, of course. Right, me and Kimberly fine. go way back. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. With broccoli and sardines. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Broccoli and sardines. <laughs> oh, it's got awesome. a little ranch dressing. My favorite. See? Yeah, look at that. You're oh, also your lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good. You know what? Do you, do you, have you ever eaten a sardine before? Seriously, have you ever eaten a sardine? I guess today's the day. Oh, okay. no. Let's not open that in yeah. here. <laughs> See? I told oh, no. you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, you no, no. You did it. You no, did it. Like, no. No? No. no. If Colleen... We need to open that okay. outside. <laughs> Jeff gave me the wink. It's all good to do it. Yes. Okay, it's go all good. for it. Because I'm going to do my well, day job. Y'all are well, stuck with that smell. You'll see me run out the door if you <laughs> open those sardines. Wow. Kim, you brought them. I mean, you know. All right. I mean, okay. Okay. I don't know. Well, then let me. Okay, well, that saved me right it. there. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Colleen's go like, go for it. Come on. He Sean's in here. You better go for it. Go for it. Sean's oh, in I here. Double again. one. I'll let you open it. Double dog dare Sh- you yes. to open that right I won't now. Eat a whole... Double dog dare. I mean, if... I'll do a bite. If you, yeah, if you open them, and we have to suffer the smell. You're going to eat one. Yeah, I need a trash can. I could puke, but we don't know. Listen, I'm just saying, I'll do a bite. Okay, here's the trash. Have you ever had a sardine, I, Julissa? No, I, no, I've I'm never not. had one either. Right, <laughs> I guess Julissa's if I need like, to, I'm not going yeah, to. Yeah. I need to puke. I'll go pass. over here. All right, I'll go to this side. Just so stay you guys up, can't don't, see me. Don't get on the carpet. It's gonna okay. smell. Yeah, do not spill that on the carpet. I'm not worried. Okay. I do not let my family open this stuff inside the house. It oh, it just permeates. Now, sardines are extremely healthy. Right, they are okay. very. They're packed with all kinds of nutrients. Uh, the calcium. I mean, they these very very healthy. So in that aspect, she was thinking very kind of you. Oh boy! But got it. oh, <laughs> Kim, okay. second guessing. Okay. This. okay, got it. I'll do that one. Oh, <laughs> uh oh! Reality setting in. I don't do food very well. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's very sardiney. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put the lid back down on that? I don't know if I can or not. Yeah. I'm going to have to get it there. Hmm? Ask my... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> boy, how much coffee I got in here. Yeah, wash that day. Coffee and sardines. It's that still is in my mouth. Great... That's the problem. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Well, just wash it down. Wash it down. I can't swallow. That's the hard part. It's because you're because when you're eating something like that, you don't your throat closes up and your body's like, no, don't. There Did you it get went, it down? Yeah, it went down. It's not coming so back up, is it? Is the texture kind of like no. an oyster? I, I guess. I mean, it's it's very fishy. I mean, I, I, I mean, I really thank you, Kimberly. Yeah, this this is. You're welcome. That was very you, nice of you. You have known me for a while. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you for the donuts. Yes. Let me ju- let me just say that they right there. They also real donuts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was Perfect. about to say I haven't even opened them yet. I'm assuming it's yeah. Show this those. thing's sticking around yeah. my teeth and everything. I'm on my tongue. We got it all over your hands too. Why? I know it's nasty. Why are you sweating over there? Well, because <laughs> I'm not used to eating sardines. You're not gonna. You're not about to. Like, oh no, no, I'm not gonna hurl. But the okay. uh, well, I, I, <laughs> I'd let you know if I did. Well, yeah, actually, well, I think, you, I think I'd probably know if you did. I don't think you even need so to say too. anything. I think yeah. we'll figure it out pretty quick, yeah. actually. But, so. you, but, I mean, I don't do well with food, so you know I that. Know, I, I mean, know. so this I'm, is a, I'm this very is a challenge. Impressed. Yeah, I get ready to say, yeah. You did better with it than I would have, and mm-hmm. then what I th- would have thought you did. I, I'd wash it down with some ranch if I were you. Mm-mm. I didn't even now, eat that it. That would make me puke. But I want to hurl for you. Okay. <laughs> 
Jaleesa, are you going to be okay? You look a little pale over yeah, there. I'm feeling a little queasy over All here, right. not going to lie. All right. Uh, a little queasy. Well, Big Kim, Paul says he's on his way because there's donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not sardines, right? Man, I can't get right. uh, I'm, I'm going to taste this all day, aren't I? I don't know. I've never had sardines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's that oil that's in there, that virgin oil, and it's like, it's all just stuck it's, in it's me. Hard, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Stuck be on right. you. Not a woman in love. The oh, things man. I do for it is, you. That smell, that smell is now, here. It, it took me a minute. Sword. It took me a minute, and now is I'm like, bad? whoo, dude. Yeah. Yeah, was it my get, breath, or was it this? Well, I don't know. When you started singing, but why don't you go ahead and like, can you move that out of here? Yeah, I guess I can. I think you should. I got it on my fingers, I think too. That, I think that'd be the thing, dude. Maybe go wash your hands. Now it's all the trash can, too, though, probably. Well, I tried well, my the trash best. can, too. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kicking you out of here. <laughs> okay. I'll take the rest of your shift. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that, that'd be fun. Okay. All right. Well, um, and I can't touch anything. Well, I know. We'll just go oh. ahead and... Oh, you can't oh. even get your headphones oh, off. I can't even do it. Yeah, I can't get everything so Sean, off. Sean, help him get Sean, those. Sean, thank you. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay, good. Yes. There you go. Now, go take that okay. outside. Take it outside. I mean, like literally outside. Okay. Okay. While he does that. Anyway, Kim, uh, thank you so much for dropping by. But uh, one more time, Team Luke, Hope for Minds, Pat Green, Coromora, Wednesday night at the United Supermarkets Arena. Tickets for anybody who wants those general mission tickets to go support. Where do they, where do they get them? Select a seat or on our website at www.teamlukehopeforminds.org. You okay? 